Mount Everest seems to be popping off right now, so let's talk about it for Spooky Science Series. Mount Everest is famous for being a graveyard with over 200 climbers' bodies remain frozen on the mountain. But that's nothing compared to the older graveyard beneath their feet. Billions of fragments of ancient sea creatures entombed in limestone that have been dead longer than trees have existed on Earth. The rocks at the summit of Mount Everest, the highest point on Earth, was once at the bottom of an ancient ocean around 450 million years ago. It is packed with evidence of its underwater origins. But here's where it gets scientifically spooky. The fossils are around 450 to 520 million years old, but the Tethys Ocean, the one that most people associate with the Himalayas, only formed around 275 million years ago. So how is that even possible? This means that the rocks at the summit of Mount Everest came from an even older ocean that existed before the Tethys. And that ocean is the Paleo Tethys. When India broke off from the supercontinent Gondwana and started shifting northward, it was carrying this ancient seafloor with it, and that had already existed for hundreds of millions of years. Around 50 to 55 million years ago, the Indian plate slammed into the Eurasian plate, and it moved up to 15 centimeters per year, which is fast in geological terms. This collision forced the seafloor sediments upward through something called thrust faulting, eventually lifting them to their current elevation of nearly 9,000 meters above sea level. In other words, the ocean floor became the sky. But here's where some major history got made. Some of the first fossils ever collected from Mount Everest was during the tragic 1924 expedition of George Mallory and Andrew Irvine. Geologist Noel O'Dell, the last person to see them alive, collected numerous limestone samples before his teammates disappeared into the mountain forever. These marine fossils on Everest actually became the main piece of evidence to prove that plate tectonics are real. The mind-bending part is that these creatures that swam in warm, shallow, tropical seas 450 million years ago, before dinosaurs, before trees, before even insects colonized the land, are now frozen in rock in the most hostile, oxygen-starved point on Earth. And the wildest part is that the Himalayas are still rising at about five millimeters per year. The collision that created them is still happening right now as you watch this. Follow for more spooky science series all October long and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for a very special Halloween episode at the end of this month.